So we're very involved in community engagement. Mm -hmm. It starts really with the art classes that we do. That's community engagement. We, we have up to 12 people in each class here and we provide a painting class. We try to take them a little out of their comfort zone, doing something a little different, but meeting new people, relaxing and being creative. And we, we handle more than 12 people outside of the gallery. We've done several classes in Broadmoor Hospital in the training facility. We did a, an art class the other week in uh, Dinton Pastures uh, Park in the activity centre for 36 people. I've just submitted a proposal to the Town Council to do an art event for 500 people, art in the park. So we would have a stage, we would have a huge TV screen, we would have a sound system, we would video the entire event live. Anyone could join in from anywhere in the world and paint along. We'll have several artists doing hour-long sessions. We've been involved in community engagement projects. We helped coordinate, we organised the, the various rules of engagement, the brief, the judging for an art competition in Wokingham associated with Wokingham in Bloom and the winners we printed their artwork and placed them in empty stores around Wokingham. We printed also for the wellness uh, garden in the fire station. We sponsored all the prizes um, and uh, at the prize giving we gave out the prizes along with the mayor and various members of the town council. To celebrate also, we generated a piece of art, um, a floral mosaic of Marilyn Monroe. So that was designed by myself and organised with the help of the gallery staff, comprising of almost 2,000 silk peonies uh, to form a 1.7 metre by 1.7 metre portrait of Marilyn Monroe. And that was unveiled by the mayor, along with the, uh, in the presence of the judges from the Royal Horticultural Society and that, that was quite a showstopper, that was really enjoyable. Things we've done, we've placed artwork in, in the local courtyard from an art competition to celebrate the link between Wokingham and the, the twin town of Erfstadt. Uh, we helped to do that, we printed the, the artwork for, uh, for the wall. We're placing historic images around Wokingham of how each of the main streets looked a hundred plus years ago, starting with our own street, Denmark Street. So we have local poster cabinets and we have historic images going back to the early, early 1900s showing how Denmark Street looked over a hundred years ago. And that's very popular. A lot of people come in and tell us how much they like it. So we're just about to do the same for Rose Street. Um, another of the main streets of Wokingham and we hope to be able to do that in several of the streets showing how, how the same street looked. Okay, why a gallery? Sarah was the, the major influence on the gallery by far and Sarah would watch me paint. Sarah encouraged me to start doing painting classes. She said, you love presenting, you love talking to people, you love teaching from your engineering, you give presentations. Look at a gallery, you've always wanted to have your own space instead of painting at home. You can paint in a little studio and meet customers and say hello. I put a complete proposal together, I applied for a grant and of course I didn't get one. And Sarah said, do it anyway, you've got some savings. Just." Just do it, why, why are you waiting? So we did it, so we put the uh, plan together for the gallery, we hired contractors, I project managed it because I've been in engineering management most of my life. And everything is to, to my design, to function as a gallery with a difference.